Hey guys, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Um, I know I haven't been posting um, recently, but um, now I have some spare time to do Scratch stuff because um, I have I am busy from school. Um, so yeah, um, today we'll be continuing our RPG tutorial, and today we'll be talking about how to clone coins around so our player can collect it. All right. So um, currently you see our player can move around the level. Um, I taught this in. Um, our easy scrolling RPG tutorial. So if you haven't watched that, make sure to watch it if you're going to watch this video. Um, so let's get started. All right. First, I am going to um, duplicate our level sprite and I'm going to call it coin. Then we are going to draw a coin. So if I go here, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to um, draw a um, orange square, so it is pretty obvious. Um, not, not any fancy art or whatever. And I'm going to set our size to 100. Alright. Oh, set size to 100. So if we try it now, you can see our coin moves around, right? But when it reaches an edge, it stays there. Well, like the level. Um, there's an easy fix to this, um, and I'll show it to you right now, alright? So what we're going to do, if um, 0 minus scroll x equals to x position, and 0 minus scroll y equals to y position, then we are going to show and if we're not um we're going to hide so you see now when it reaches an edge it hides all right um this is because when sprites are supposed to go off screen scratch kind of keeps keeps them at the edge so if the if their um realistic value is larger than their actual value then it, they're going to hide all right um i hope you understood that you probably didn't but um I'm also going to drag the script to our level, so our level can also hide and show if it reaches an edge, so it doesn't stay there, you know. Um, now currently you see we only have one coin, right? So we're going to start cloning them. So instead, we're going to say when I start as a clone, forever go to um, you know these places, and when I create a clone of myself, click on it. There is a clone there. And we are going to hide our original sprite, right? Because we don't want it to be staying there. So click it there and I create click create a clone myself. Boom, we have a coin there. And we also want to say if our coin is touching the um, you know, the player, then we want to, you know, um delete, right? So I have just if I just say if touching our player then we're going to delete this clone. So if I try it now, click, boom. Um, yay! The test is a success! Um, but so far we can only clone our sp coin, like, right here, right? We want, it, we want the coin to be randomly cloning around everywhere, right? So! We're going to create a new block. We're going to call this clone at x, x and y, y. All right. Um, we are going to say, oh yeah, we're going to create two new variables. We're going to call this x for the sprite only. It's very important. And y for the sprite only. Then we're going to set our x to x. We're going to set our y to y. And finally, we're going to create a clone of myself. And in here, we're going to say, if we're going to say, go to x, x minus scroll x and y minus scroll y. And if x minus x scroll x and y minus scroll y there. Now, what this means that is that we can now clone this coin other than, you know, at x0, y0. We can say, clone at x100, y0. So if I try it now. Boom, we have a coin there. And if I, if I touch it, then it's gone. And um, I can also say, let's say, clone at x100, y, negative 50. 
um, clone at x negative 126, y 126. Um, and if I put it in our green flag click block, when we click on the green flag, boom, we have the coins. So, yay, yay. And yay. So that is a pretty good start. All right, let me make our player move, let's say, slightly slower, because um, I'm a patient guy, and I like slow. So, yay, we have these coins. Boom, boom. Um, and... Yay, we got it. <laughs> so, um, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to play around with this block. Um, you can even randomize it. Um, let me show you that, let me show you that very quickly. Let's say repeat 10. Um, clone at X. Pick random from negative 300 to 300. And Y, pick random from negative 300 to 300. So now we're going to randomize some coins, right? Boom. We have some coins around here now that we can collect. Um, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, these scripts will help you um, in any scrolling project. All right. Um, we're going to use these scripts in our scrolling platformers too, um, which I hope to talk about um, in the future. So um, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Scratch tutorials.